2026 Volvo EX90 fixes everything the 2025 model got wrong. Hey EV family, it's Hussein here and welcome back to EVpedia, your favorite pit stop for all things electric. Quick disclaimer before we get rolling. This video is for news and commentary purposes only. All rights belong to their respective owners. Now let me kick this off with a question. What do you think hurts an automaker's reputation more? Slow charging or buggy software that leaves owners furious? Drop your answer in the comments, because I want to hear your thoughts. And listen, if you're watching but still haven't subscribed, that's like buying a Tesla and never using autopilot. You're missing the best part. Do me a favor, hit subscribe, smash that like button, and let's aim for 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments in the next 24 hours. Oh, and here's something fun. Check out the hype button down in the comments. It's free, it's fast, and it helps EVpedia climb the leaderboards so more EV fans can find us. Now let's dive into the shocking story of how Volvo messed up the 2025 EX90 and is now scrambling to fix it with the 2026 version. The 2025 Volvo EX90 was supposed to be Sweden's big moment, the flagship electric SUV that would cement Volvo as a global EV and software powerhouse. But instead, it was a mess. Owners complained about glitchy software that constantly crashed, consumer reports dragged it in their reviews, and lawsuits started stacking up. There was even a Reddit community dedicated to documenting the horror stories. The SUV, priced at nearly $80,000, felt like an unfinished prototype rushed out the door. So what's Volvo doing about it? For the 2026 model year, they've thrown everything they've got at fixing the EX90. First up, the electrical system has received a huge upgrade, moving from a 400-volt setup to an advanced 800-volt architecture. And that makes a massive difference. Volvo now claims the EX90 can add up to 155 miles of range in just 10 minutes at a fast charger. To put that in perspective, the 2025 model topped out at 250 kilowatts and needed a full 30 minutes to go from 10 to 80 percent charge. While Volvo hasn't revealed the new peak charging rate yet, the promise of cutting charge times in half is a game changer. That new architecture also allowed engineers to shed some weight from the battery pack and electric motors thanks to fresh materials and design tweaks. In short, lighter, faster, and more efficient. But charging speed isn't the only story here. Volvo also upgraded the brains of the EX90. For 2026, every model will come with NVIDIA's Drive Ornbase Core Computer, a seriously powerful piece of hardware designed to support advanced driver assistance and eventually, full self-driving capabilities. Automakers love this chip because it acts as a centralized computer, handling AI, data, safety features, and infotainment all at once. Right now, Volvo will use it for level 2 plus autonomy features, but NVIDIA says it can scale all the way to level 5 automation in the future. And here's something owners of the 2025 model will love. Volvo says you can get the new NVIDIA computer for free through a scheduled service center upgrade. That's a rare move in today's EV market, and it might just win back some angry early adopters. In a statement, Volvo's chief technology and engineering officer, Anders Bell, explained that the new computing power enables safer driving, smarter battery management, and continuous improvements delivered via over-the-air updates. Translation, your SUV won't feel outdated after a year. It'll actually keep getting smarter. On top of all that, Volvo is adding several new safety features. Drivers will now get real-time alerts for hazards like slippery roads or upcoming accidents. There's also an emergency stop assist function that will bring the car to a safe halt if the driver becomes unresponsive. And Volvo's automatic emergency steering has been improved to work even in complete darkness, helping the SUV avoid collisions during sudden braking scenarios at night. All these upgrades come at a critical time. Volvo's reputation took a hit with the 2025 EX90, and global competition is heating up fast. Chinese automakers are flooding Europe with strong EVs, German brands are updating their lineups, and US tariffs are creating even more headaches for Volvo, which imports most of its cars. The X90's overhaul isn't just a refresh, it's Volvo's attempt to prove it belongs in the EV big leagues. And Volvo isn't stopping there. The luxury ES90 sedan is right around the corner, and the upcoming EX60 midsize SUV, an all-electric counterpart to Volvo's best-selling XC60, will launch on the brand-new SBA3 platform next year. If Volvo can nail these launches, they might finally recover from their rough EV start. So, circling back to my intro question, which do you think is worse for a new EV, painfully slow-charging speeds or software that constantly crashes? 
Personally, I think bad software hurts more. You can always plan around charging, but if your $80,000 SUV can't even run smoothly, that's unforgivable. Here's what I'd love. Share your opinion in the comments below. Let's see which side wins, team, charging speed, or team, software bugs. And before I sign off, here's a quick EV fun fact. Did you know Porsche's Taycan was the first production EV to launch with an 800-volt system? That same breakthrough is now becoming the industry standard, and it's what Volvo is finally embracing with the EX90. Thanks for sticking with me till the end. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and help us smash our 10,000 like and 1,000 comment challenge. And hey, don't forget to hit that hype button in the comments. It's free, it's fun, and it shows the world how strong the EVpedia family really is. Until next time, stay charged, stay curious, and keep hyping EVs with us.